Hi there, I have two questions. Uh, so that's actually four questions. <laughs> my, my son earns screen time based on his day at school. Ever since he's been in the sixth grade, they do not tell me how or what he is doing. So therefore, what we have set up at home no longer works. Can a daily note home be put in his IEP? Second thing is my, uh, is my son is able to tell me about his day. He has mentioned several bad days and allergy infractions which were unreported by the staff at school. He knows he can't have gluten or dairy and just yesterday told me he ate his friend's burger that wasn't gluten free and it was nasty and the teacher did not make him spit oh, it out. Man. Named the teacher by name. <laughs> Can I take my 11-year-old son out of sixth grade and homeschool him for this and put up his hours at card for educational goals? Are they violating FAPE? Thank you. I'm so disappointed in my son's school. And a lot of this is Bonnie uh, related, and we'll run this by Bonnie okay. as well, uh, which will be on next Mondays as well. But, you know, um, so we're not going to really answer about what you can and cannot put, put in the IEP. You can decide to homeschool your child no matter what, but let's talk a little bit about... Um, what can she do to help her son to make better choices so that he himself doesn't want to eat somebody else's food? Well, there's actually even more on okay. that one. I was going to say is um, so many little places to run. He has to figure out if the allergy makes him feel bad or not. Okay. He has to be able to identify either his physical state or how it feels, whatever it is, because he has to be able to identify the negative part. Yeah. If he just had this incident, he probably has, you know, I don't know what the side effects are, but a lot of the kids will be like, I can't control my body, or um, I don't feel good, or I'm like hot all the time, you know. Or my what stomach it, hurts. My stomach hurts. You know, yeah, Jem all the time. Jem yeah. knows. You know, yeah. he wanted something cheese. Cheese, we did a had cheese. Had it. Uh, uh, where we tested to see if he could eat cheese and he was so excited he ate the cheese and he was like mom we got to stop the cheese my stomach hurts. <laughs> yeah right and so but he learns the cause and effect yep, and sure so did. you have to make sure your child understands hey when you have this look at all the things that are hard yep. for him this is how you feel so if he can make that connection then he will start to identify yeah all of that sometimes it's just impulse control though and if it's impulse control give him strategies for how to get around it okay and it can be as simple as I had a kid who would just put, you know, this, uh, the little menus that they have on dinner tables. He would just put it between him and whatever the item was. Yeah. And, but at least it was a small barrier, but it reminded him, you know, don't grab that french fry. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's as easy as that. Other times it's just asking, learning how to ask someone, hey, you know what? I really want that, but I can't have it. It's going to make me sick. Yeah. But can you, like, I'm going to need to move myself. Yeah. You know, yeah. away from where it is. Yeah. And making sure that he has other choices, because I know, I know when things are not good for me. I have all these food allergies, but when I'm hungry, my ability to discern how I'm going to feel afterwards, it's like out the window. But you, you're really good when we go out to eat. You actually ask questions. Can of course, we go? Yeah. You know, you compensate, and he's going to have to learn how to do that too, to be able to say, "Hey, can we're, we're, we have some kind of choice in this before we go?" Okay, yeah. so. Tomorrow there's a party at school. Can you pack me this instead? Yes. You know, yeah. whatever it may be. And he has to start learning how to do some of that self-management. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, but also, you know, we sent uh, like Lara bars to school and gave like a, a, a case of Lara bars to the teacher and said, if a treat comes in or something, you know, or if he says he's hungry, like, you know, so that there's something always that they can make the good Definitely. choice with instead of a nothing. Definitely. Okay. But I will have uh, Bonnie Yates address the re whether it's a violation of faith and so And I'm not going to answer that part, but a lot of times the easier you make it for the parent, the teacher, the more likely they'll communicate. So whenever the situation happens for me with the kids, a lot of times I will say, what do I want to know? And I'll actually like make a little chart with just those five items yeah. for the teacher. Yeah. And say, here's, a, here's, uh, here's 50 copies. Yeah. Just check all the spaces, you know, how he did, and send it back to me. If you want them to write, it's harder. A lot of times just checking boxes is easier. And that way, at least you'll find out some level of what's going on. And, and I will just tease that there's a whole level of things that if it's a medical necessity, that that goes into a different place in the IEP yes. if there's an actual allergic reaction. 
And it's one of the ways that we get one-on-one -on -one aids is if it's too much for the teacher to uh -huh. process that we go, oh, I guess we're going to need a one-on-one -on -one aid then because That's what it's a medical necessity. Safe. Yeah. It keeps and, safe. Um, yeah. So, um, and then all of a sudden they get very compliant and they're like, no, we will make sure that he does not eat it. And right? we will let you know. <laughs> right. We will let you, we, we'll start a communication log. Would you like a communication log? Yeah. It's funny how interesting it gets. Hey, thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.